Alright guys, as you can see, the system is a success. Slowly but surely, we're building up chickens. Just all that from one chicken, we have three chickens now. They lay egg, get spun through the system and pop back out as a, a baby chick. That's simple. stick these in here for now uh, look what I got too zombie pigman trophy <clears throat> came out here a little bit ago there's a zombie pigman out here and I was gonna let him be but I saw that he trampled one of my crops and that meant he had to go so I killed him off and he dropped a trophy for me Check him out. Is that cool or what? Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> awesome. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Oh, we have two chickens now. Let's speed the process up. Now we can speed the process up a little bit. Boom, boom. And they breed. And we'll store those in there. Let's give this place a door. Oops. Uh, there we go. Plug that hole. All right. Um. I want an off switch for this system. Uh, and the reason I want one of those is say, I've, when it comes time to harvest our little chicklets, I want to be able to quickly build up a supply of eggs so I can restart the system. I need to test see if it works. Yep, it's working just fine. Let's get it in there. Turn it off. Perfect. 
That's exactly what I want to happen right there. Turn the system off. Or turn the system back on. There we go. That is perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. See, this way, I can turn the system off and a crap ton of eggs will build up down there. And then I, I can I can also, you know, preserve eggs if I want to using this method. I can slaughter the contents of our little cage here and then switch to switch back on, have it fill it with, uh, blast out all the eggs, and boom. I'm going to adjust the timer. I want to make this faster, though, I think. Uh, two seconds. We'll just take a second off. So every second it'll blast an egg. Every second the system was well cycle. But in the meantime, we just need to let that be so it can continue making chickens. What? It looks like there's only three in there. Are there just three? No, there's four. See? That's perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. That's exactly what I need. I made a discovery. You don't need... Sh I thought you needed shears to shear these up and pick them up. You don't. You can just cut them down with your... You, I think you can break them with your hand. I used my axe. That worked just fine. It doesn't destroy them. It just harvests them. Or, well, it knocks them down as a block you can pick up. I, I expanded my cotton field, as you can see. I'm trying to get a good supply of string built up. Yup. Okay, I need that. Okay. Five. Oh, that's all I had leather for, duh. Um, that's fine. That'll do. That'll do. I th no, it won't. Um, I have this one spare one here, though. That'll make it. Ah, yeah, go on the stack. Darn you. Uh, go. Yeah, I think that's all I need. There we go. The final touches. Bop. Bop. Boom! Full power enchanting. And it's time. We got 30 levels. Let's enchant our chest plate here. Boom! What do we get? Protection 4 and breaking 3. Good, good, good. That's pretty nice. Let me check something here. I'm curious. Armor. What kinds of armor is there? are there? Bean bar. Bean bar is the only thing that came up, huh? Oh, okay. Let's try. Fire chest plate, scale chest plate, wooden chest plate. How do you do that? <laughs> wooden armor. And of course, there's cardboard too. <laughs> oh, you can shave a pattern chest in half. I didn't know that. 
Amethyst. That's interesting. Uh, what's this dark colored one? Compressed steel chest plate. All right, guys. I'm gonna do something real quick. I'll be right back. All right, sup everybody. Mm. How's it going? What, what do you mean? Oh, I don't think it looks any different at all. <laughs> Just best with you guys. I loaded up facts. Uh, I've actually been a huge fan of this texture pack for a long while. Uh, I know uh, also uh, Generic B uses this particular mm. texture pack and uh, for good reason. This thing looks sharp. This is beautiful. Like, I've always loved the look of this thing. Hey, all the lava's gone. It's empty now. I've managed to use up all the lava out of that. That's cool. Let me check my frame rate. Uh, I've not videoed in this. Uh, yet, so I don't know exactly how well it's going to perform. Uh, I just loaded into the game too, so I got a bunch of chunks loading uh, and updating. Uh, game's trying to do a lot, I have a lot going on in my system too at the moment. Here, let me try and resolve some of that. How do you make the mini-map go away again? Oh, well that helped. Oh wow, that is cool. Zoomed in. Ah. Uh, Just checking it out. But anyway, the reason I brought you on tonight, today, uh, right now, uh, is because I want to try something. I want to try and make our, make me one of these backpacks. I want one of the black ones. Uh, so I actually went and acquired some ink. Oh yeah, and in the process, found a little cave and heard something inside. Something I've been looking for. <laughs> Check this out. We now have form of bat. Woo! Now getting around is going to be a whole lot simpler. Good. Check it. Form of ghast was just too enormous. Oh crap, night is falling. I did not realize what time of day it was. But anywho, yeah. Back to being Alistair. Oh yeah, I'm wearing a mining cap on top of my helmet. <laughs> I love the way the armor looks in this uh, mod pack, or this texture pack too. The armor looks crazy. Love it, love it, love it. But anyway, let's get to crafting. Uh, I mean, you all can see the recipes for yourself, obviously. But uh, I'm just going to... Uh, I wonder if that determines the color. Oh, no, that's right. It's always going to be brown. I think you have to dye these backpacks. Uh, actually, I want to make the other one first. I want to see how these work. Uh... Not seen them used before. Uh, where did my black ink go? What did I do with it? Ah, right there. It's in the chest. Uh, we want this pack pack, and then you have to weave cloth to make it. And it's string around a stick. I don't know that I have enough string, really, but uh, I figured I'd. Uh, let's see here. It's eight. Eight string per piece. We need eight pieces. Right. Shoot, we need 64 string at least. I only have 32. Um, there's some cotton. Uh, the thing I have to 
the thing that's an issue at the moment though is I also have to figure out what everything looks like now. Uh, oh, freaking cow got loose. I this is something I hope they fix about vanilla Minecraft too. Uh, this didn't happen back when I played back in like my four point whatever days. Cows did not get loose. The, if you put something in a pen, it stayed in a pen. Uh, it's really annoying, but logging in and out of the game, you know, closing the game and loading it back up is what causes it. Like, apparently, parts of the world load before, like, say, your fences basically load in last, it seems. So anything inside fences has a moment in which they could just walk out. Especially, apparently, if your game is performing poorly, which mine may be doing because my system is not currently is currently experiencing a high load. Uh, ooh, look at all the blueberries. Those are certainly easier to spot in this texture pack. Blackberries. I thought that was my blueberry bush. Oh, okay. No, there was. Like I had blackberries as well. I'm carrying around a bunch of junk. I don't need to be carrying. I uh, did not realize that I was. Uh, we got some more cotton in here. Uh, let's see if there's a yield or 64 string. I think it will. Well, that's 16 units of string. That is not the 64 we need. Well, I might have to change my plans today <laughs> for this video. I might have to change my plans for this video. Check out the shears. Scissors. Huh. Oh, yeah. I want to put that in there and that in there. We don't need those in my in-house chest. Uh, sort, please. Uh, notice I got a lot of potatoes built up now. That's why there are carrots out here. Oh, uh, Fooey. Oh, those are all flowered. Fooey, fooey, fooey. Let's check on our chickens. Since we're out here. Oh, I can already hear them clucking away in there. Oh, yeah, look at it. Look at it. The system is working very well. It's pretty funny though, every time it launches an egg, they get smacked with it. <laughs> yep, yep, here we go. <laughs> it's like torture. It's a chicken torture slash uh, generator. Uh, usually what happens too is, like, as you know, as I mentioned there, the cow glitches out of the pen. These guys will glitch through the glass too. The way this my sword looks in this uh, texture pack, though. But yeah, they'll glitch out of the uh, glass, so it won't be any surprise to me if we come in here and say, after I've done like days or two, a day or two worth of work, and there are just chickens all over this room. Uh, because yeah, they'll start to spill out as it starts to fill up. This is just such a pretty texture pack, and things just look pretty spectacular in it. I, I love the look of it. This is uh, the 64, uh, 64 uh, pixel version. Uh, you know, it's the most I was willing to risk running. Uh, I'm gonna, in fact, uh, see something. Well, my frame rate's perfect for recording, actually. Uh, I don't need 60 frames for recording, because YouTube only does 30 frames. So my frame rate's fine for this. I, I'm just worried about little dips and valleys. Uh, well, since we don't have enough string, that idea's on hold, we'll have to do this backpack. 
This is actually pretty simple. Um, I really wonder if this determines the color. Um, all I have at the moment is white. I could die. Oh no, there's a. I have a piece of black wool. Let's let's make ourselves a black backpack. I'm assuming that's gonna set the color. Uh, I found a golden helmet. Zombie dropped it. Here's the leather. I actually had a piece in my pocket already from whacking that cow. I'll put this raw steak in there too. As you notice, I got that steak. I got I got a truck truckload of cooked steak. Oh, that's raw pork chops. Where's all my steak? Oh, right there. Yo. There's my bread. That's my sliced bread. These, that, those two textures haven't changed. This one was already pretty nice looking anyway. It's from, this is from Food Plus. Uh, they added food drops to the sheep using Food and Food Plus. I found this sitting in my, sitting right here one, the other night. Gold nugget just sitting right here. I have no idea where it came from. <gasps> I found it. Oh, that is a cool feature of this trophy. He drops gold nuggets, apparently. You poke him enough, and he'll apparently drop a gold nugget from time to time. Because, like, yeah, I just bopped him as I was walking by. And I wasn't paying any attention. I walked back there and came back, and there was a gold nugget sitting there. I was like, where did that come from? I thought of him, but, you know, I poked him a few more times, and nothing happened. <laughs> so I was like, it could have been ham, surely not. That's a neat feature. I just thought he made noise. I think I'm gonna poke him when I walk by from now on. It'd be a nice source of gold. Uh, and my black wool. Yeah, I need a black wool. And uh, oh yeah, a gold bar. It costs a gold bar. What an interesting bit to the crafting recipe, but one gold ingot. There we go crafter up you guys I don't know if you watch uh, generic B and B double O and their attack of the B team uh, I mean after all they're what the mod pack is named for um, but those guys of course you know have these two uh, yeah it came out brown I know you can dye it though uh, might as well use, use the black too. I didn't want the black wool laying around. I didn't have any use for black wool at the moment. Uh, let's put this paper in here and this leather. We don't need that at the moment. Uh, oh, cacti. I keep the cacti over here. I, I use cacti in some of my recipes. Uh, I'm about to make, possibly make a new, new sword out of these pieces. I made a cacti guard. Uh, slime tool rod for the handle and a steel sword blade. Steel is one of the most uh, powerful um, materials. I had no idea. Like, and it, unfortunately, the book doesn't tell you how to make it. I'd seen the recipe already, but I'd forgotten it. It took me a minute. I was watching another guy on YouTube who couldn't figure it out either. And scroll down in the comments and so oh yeah, duh, all you do is smelt it. In other words, you take your steel bars and you stick them in a, in a furnace as opposed to your uh, actual smeltery here. And your for instead of your forge, you stick them in a, an oven and cook them. Oh, uh, I made something too. Uh, I got some steel in there. Uh, I got some blood in there I turned into a bat and flew in there got some blood in there uh, I'm trying to I'm actually at the moment trying to cook up away I know where there's a zombie spawner and I'm thinking about trying to cook up a way to install that zombie spawner right up here the thing is I don't want to stick it up here uh, that's actually kind of silly I don't really need torches up here but I'll put that there uh, just thinking about trying to put uh, 
the spawner up there to drop zombies in to make blood but the thing is I would like to have a way to turn it off because uh, I this thing will just it just keep producing blood and fill with blood plus I I'd have to seal the top there and you get it dark enough in there the zombies just spawn and fall in but yeah I know of several ways I could move that spawner and stick it up there it wouldn't be any, any big deal Making sure it was centered would be a little bit of a pain, but other than that, uh, as you, uh, since I'm running out of lava too, uh, I'm going to have to actually get to work and fix this up the way I want to. Uh, I saw a guy build one of these. It had an automated tree farm attached to it. It powered the tree farm, and the tree farm powered it because these pipe provided electricity for the machines that planted and chopped the trees and then of course the trees produced charcoal which fed into them generating more power so there's a nice secular uh, testicular <laughs> system <laughs> but <laughs> there's a nice you know contained system and then what he was using the power for uh, was just to power everything and he had a, a crap ton of these uh steam dynamos uh, instead of just the one and it looks like they can all be fed by one aqueous ac accumulator so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move the accumulator over here and just build a long train of these things uh, with item pipes feeding them uh, charcoal I might actually dig out out there this actually leads right outside this act I actually dug to the point where like I'm clear on the other side uh, so you can see that goes right outside to the outside world uh, over there next to where I grew all those slime trees uh, in the shrubbery land whatever they call that biome uh, thicket I, I stripped a lot of the thicket away and uh, planted those slime trees and anyway I was digging in digging in here expanding this area to make room for this and I found that so I might just put the tree farm outside out there and have everything piped in from the outside into here to feed the system. Which, you know, is quite easily do that. Uh, it's not, not any big deal. Uh, I'll look at how he, he built his and then I'll uh, make the necessary modifications to make it happen. Um, Anywho, uh, I made my backpack. The way these backpack backpacks work, you can place them on the ground, open them, you put items in, you shift, right click. I believe you shift, right click to equip, but it goes on the chest, unfortunately. Yeah, like that. You shift, left click, sorry. Sneak and right click ground with empty hand to unequip. Oh, so even though I, I to unequip it from my chest quickly, I just hold shift, put it down. Uh, and then if I just, actually, I think if I just break it with my left hand, yeah, it goes in there, uh, put it down, shift, and break it with my hand, it goes on my chest. Uh, so it takes up the chest slot, so unfortunately it reduces my armor to be wearing it. But it, you, I mean, you can carry it in your inventory too, I mean, shoot. Just like my luggage, it provides a great deal of additional carrying space. Uh, in fact, there, I can't think of any actual benefit to having it on my back. Oh, you can't just take it off like a piece of armor though. It is stuck there. I'm stuck with it on until it's... Uh, until I do that. But yeah, I'm managing to put stuff in it and just carry it like that. Keep my chest armor on in dangerous situations. And of course, you know, I have my luggage with me. Right there, little guy. Just drop him down somewhere and uh, actually 
keeping and dropping him down somewhere. Does he have anything in him? Oh, darn it. Hey there, buddy. No, I emptied him out. Except for one lonely toads toadstool. But anywho, just wanted to show you guys me making that backpack. Uh, Oh, yeah. I was like, what was that sound for a moment? <laughs> Duh! He's got an old texture on him, too. Uh, these look pretty pimp. Uh, those look pretty pimp in this texture pack. This, not so much. My pickaxes. And my hammer. They look pretty good, I think. Um, anywho. Uh, yeah, I need to... I need to drive this back. Oh, yeah, I already did it. Uh, this is going to be a path to something else. We'll just go up here. I've got something in mind for this spot. Well, let's just bring this down to this level. Oh, that was dangerous. I just dug under me. <laughs> Yeah, I have something in mind for this area here, right here. I'll show you guys. I am just thoroughly enjoying playing in, with this mod pack. It is just so cool. It's breathed new life into Minecraft for me. I, I was slightly, just slightly, not terribly bored, but slightly bored with uh, trying to show you guys uh, what, what was what in my uh, survival vanilla let's play because I, I just played the crap out of vanilla building all kinds of great stuff in this in this world I I was playing for fun and then I decided to start doing this video series and unfortunately I had already done everything in that world that I would like to show off and so I didn't want to go and use that world and I have to go I guess I could have given you all a tour and everything but I, I think it's a lot of cool if a lot cooler for you guys to watch things develop watch things come into use and everything um, let's check our chickens real quick one last time before I let you guys go we'll go check our chicken situation again I am really oh yeah We might get that string yet. I have one more around here somewhere. Right here. I know if you hit these guys with bone meal too. Uh, and, mm. Until they enter this flowering state. Uh, you can actually cause them to keep popping up cotton. For a little while before they enter that flowering state sometimes. It's kind of like random. They randomly either grow cotton or flower. I can't really even tell how many are in there. But I need a crap ton in there to keep the system going. I, I need them to be crapping out eggs like in a steady stream. This thing needs to be going pop, 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 pop before it's time for me to clean them out. And, and as soon as it, it starts going pop, 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 then I need to flip this switch to t deactivate it and let it fill up with eggs and then clean it out and repeat. Oh yeah, the seats. I was like, what the heck? Oh yeah, let's speed this process along too, yeah. Seats. Duh. Oops. Try not to click the hopper. Maybe that's one of the reasons I have that half slab there, so I don't end up accidentally doing that all the time. I kind of wonder if these guys got shot with seeds by the dispenser. Would they... Would that count as feeding them? Can I feed them through the glass? Oh, darn it. See that? See that guy glitching through the glass? Yeah, that's what leads to them eventually being able to get out and everything. Ah, I just keep... I think I got them all breeded that can breed. But, yep, that's it for now, guys. I'll... I'll show you more stuff later. Okay? 
have a good day.